The Office of the Registrar of Persons has been listed as the most corrupt institution in Kenya, where most Kenyans must part with a bribe in order to get services. This corruption survey that was released earlier today by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission also saw the Interior Ministry and the Kenyan police retain the top positions of ministry and state agency perceived to be the most corrupt. And as Chemutai Goin reports, EACC Chairman Eliud Wabukala called for the strengthening of Chapter 6 on leadership and integrity to facilitate a successful war against graft. The survey conducted on 5,942 households as respondents and 10 key informants. The ECC says the data collected will be crucial in boosting its anti-corruption strategy. We want to see that corruption cases have timelines so that a case does not go on until all the witnesses die. The Office of the Registration of Persons, which falls under the Interior Ministry, headed by Cabinet Prefect Dr. Fred Matiangi, took the medal for the most corrupt government institution at 19.9%, followed closely by public hospitals at 19.7%, the police taking position 3 with 17.2%. It is unfortunate that for a country of our size and our level of development, we can subject our citizens to that kind of behavior. The Interior Ministry, despite dropping from last year's ranking, once again retained the top position as the ministry perceived to be the most corrupt, followed by the Sicily Karaoke-led Health Ministry at 17.9%, while Agriculture and Lands Ministry took the third and fourth positions respectively. The largest average bribe per service, you can see that uh, obtaining a tender attracted the largest average bribe by 88,294, followed by seeking employment. The police department ranked highest in government agencies perceived to be the most corrupt, followed by the Kenya Power and Lighting Company at 12.9%, the National Hospital and Insurance Fund at 11.1%, while the courts ranked fifth at 8.6%, meaning some instances justice came with a price tag. ESCC Chairman Eliud Obukala appealing to Parliament to give them teeth and muscle by entrenching in law the ruling by Justice Mombengoge, the Republic officer under investigation, step aside to curb interference. We also want a law that will provide us for unrestricted access to financial declarations uh, so that uh, when people declare their wealth, we are able to access them by all agencies responsible for enforcement of anti-corruption measures. The survey also ranking Bomet, Kericho, Garese, Narok and Mombasa as the top counties where one had to part with a bribe to get a service. As it emerged that in Wajia County, one had to part with up to 14,354 shillings, while in Kitui, it was up to 11,640. <laughs> It was apparent the respondents did know their role in the war against graft, as when probed about their individual responsibility, 60% said they had no role. And as ESCC continues to express its commitment to the war against graft, it is also warning those that have dipped their hands in the cookie jar that they will not relent, and their time is coming. Chamutai Goin Citizen TV, Nairobi.